Greetings, tubulons and tubulators and tubulets. I just thought I'd show you what it looks like at 3 o'clock, January 19th, in Arkansas. Can you believe this? It's 57 degrees, and this is what I've been looking at all day. I got out the day before and went to see Daddy up north, and then yesterday I thought enough of it to go look at an old car, which I put a down payment on, like I need another car. But with all that wrangling around, I'm uh, kind of stove up today, just my feet and legs. But they'll get their strength back tomorrow, and I'll show you what tomorrow's going to bring. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Uh, my walking's not the best today, but I'm up and going. This is what caused me to get up and going. As you guys, I said, if I stay in the house, I won't get nothing done. I'll at least make a video for these boys and girls. I put these division boards between these rafters, and once I get the roof on, that'll keep some of the birds out of it. Won't keep the snakes out, but it'll keep the birds out. I got to keep going on and on and on and get the rest of these blocked off. And then put the lath on and then my roof. I got to cut some more of these boards. That's what I should be doing right now on this ladder. Just nailing them things in after I cut them, but I don't think I better do it today. That's uh, that's the way the world is twirling right here in Arkansas. Boy, I like this weather, but this is weird. It's been foggy like this since this morning. Which is kind of pretty. It's better than looking at the back end of a bunch of traffic. Still, too. Can you hear how still it is? Not much doing. So, this will hopefully be short. I don't know if there's anything worthy to show in here. Outside of Harold has some more room on each side. And I'm bringing in, bringing in some more of his parts and digging him out. So that'll be a lovely thing. And the windshield's not broke yet. I'm trying to put my finger in this door hole and get the door open. This may, be a, this may be a bad thing. Nope. There it is. I was sanding the door down last year. And then I run up on top of this. I wonder if I can... Is this all the way up? Okay. And I'm replacing this seal. If I haven't already got it welded in. And I got a goober pied patch right there. This patch is going to have to be two because this part bolts to this part. So I'm going to have to take it back. I might as well take it back quite a ways because I don't want that ever to happen again. And uh, I've got all the pieces for that. I, of course, I can't make them myself like you guys can. But anyway, I've got them. They make them for it. Here's the top. The roof of the little car is sitting in here all happy. And everything else is going good on Harold. Once I get it dug out, Harold won't take too long to finish. <laughs> you said 
that as a joke. <laughs> but that's good. I found some more of my license plates that y'all sent me. And as soon as my feet get better and I get a little bit more steadier, I'll get up there and I'll put you all up there with the rest of my buddies. And uh, when I'm out here, of course I'm out here by myself always, but I'm always got y'all with me, and I and I, I, that's how I think about it. I'll say, well, what would so and so do about this? And I said, well, I hope they didn't see that. I said, wow. But as you can see, I'm doing well, so. Do not fret. This is just part of me. And I'll be right as rain tomorrow. I could take a bunch of pills and and uh, uh, feel better. But then I'd be doing all sorts of stuff and hurting myself worse. I'm, some of y'all understand that. And uh, anyway, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the best we can do. And I made a big meatloaf for the kids. For Mary Ann and Chloe, and the poked holes in the thing. See, I'm getting in the bad area. I poked holes in the thing with my big greasy fingers. They were clean, and I had, you know, clean. And I filled the holes full of uh, marinara sauce, and uh, that actually tasted pretty good. And I slow cooked it for about an hour and a half, real slow and real warm. And that got everything done, but it left it moisty. I'm doing a, a Julia Childs thing. I don't like to pay for 170 degrees. And all of that come out really nice. Julia Childs is one of my heroes. On top of her being a big, raw bone, wonderful woman, uh, well, she was over six foot tall. She was uh, a World War II hero. Uh, look her up and see. She was a, a big hero. I don't know if she was a spy or a linebacker or what she was doing, but she was a, a lot more than just somebody that can make a meatloaf. And that makes her a hero in my book. Uh, lots of guys you don't know did some wonderful things in the war. Lee Marvin, one of them. And uh, I always had a thing against the guys that didn't serve, like uh, John Wayne. I always thought he was a coward. And later on, I, th I thought, I think I know, I was told later on that he tried to get in the army like five times, but there's something wrong with him. And they wouldn't take him. He was 4F. So, uh, uh, he redeemed himself in my eyes about the war stuff. So it was really cool to, to uh, love uh, John Wayne outside of him smoking himself to death, which is what zillions of people did and didn't know it. And some people got that stuff even without smoking, so who knows? It's just, it's not up to us sometimes. But, uh, okay, I love y'all. And y'all take care. I had something really cool to tell y'all to share with you, but I've, <clears throat> it's, it's come off my head. I don't know where it hit. But, uh, I'll get this uploaded. And uh, thank y'all very much. And uh, maybe soon, as soon as I've, can get some more money I'll bring that thing home that I put some money down on couldn't buy all of it but I bought some of it and uh, that's the way the world works it'll be a secret okay bye the back one this time maybe I can't feel it with my finger okay hang on here it goes this time